a New York goes to Hollywood. Yes, I was proposed to by Taylor Made. When Chelsea asked me about Taylor Made, right now we're having our ups and downs. I let her know without really letting her know what was going on with Taylor and I. Remember, you're doing the, uh, the Shakespeare Showcase tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Let day in and let life out. Yes. Hey, Liza. Hi. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's hey. so nice to meet nice you. To... One last kiss and I'll descend. Where is Tiffany now, though? No, well, maybe I can surprise her at acting school. What do you think of that? All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, adios. Bye. <laughs> Liza. Ah! only one me in the galaxy. I am an endangered species. This kind of flower don't grow. Just let me know for what it's worth. I've had lots of relationships. <laughs> I don't get involved with not quits. I will leave that blue girl. She'll be fine. Oh, I don't see the point of a partnership. It won't be long until the start of the trip. Yes, it's me. The whole world should be Hood is my home and the sky's always blue but the brownstones We in Brooklyn, I ain't no Beverly Hills so Basically we pay bills, then chill <laughs> After I had this amazing day with Voss on the beach I invited him back to my place so we can go over our lines some more It can't hurt to practice Casa de Manhattan <laughs> Liza Hey, oh, baby, what's oh, going on? Oh, hey, what's going on? Thank you, man. All right, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hey, sweetie, what's going on? I missed you so much. Where's Liza? She left. I came out here to surprise you, baby. You did? I told you I was going to step it up, you know? <laughs> I'm very surprised. Oh, my God. Hey, you don't seem happily surprised. I'm so not happy to see Taylor made. It's not like him to be this spontaneous. I think that he has an agenda. I don't know quite what he really is doing here, and it's bothering me. Hey, Can know. I just make a little drink, please? No, Boss, I'll be right there. What, you guys were practicing, or what are you doing? I feel like leaving my own house. What? You might no, be out of my house. What am I bothering? This is, I can't even <laughs> see you. <laughs> you know what? You don't need to see me. No, why I'm, not? You know, I'm here in person, travel 3,000 miles to see you, and you're acting like, like I'm bothering you. You don't love me. And you know that is true. Before America knew who you was, okay. you was at my every beck and call. You did everything for me. You was right there. What? As soon as you got some fame, you took away your love, and that was enough. I'm done, case closed. All right, you did sense. take from me. Here's Taylor May, and he's like ruining it for me. You know, just when I thought I was just gonna come out here, pursue my dream, and leave all my back home, it really pissed me off. Today was so beautiful, and he ruined it. I'm sorry. I, I'm just sorry that you had to bear witness you want to me this to go? thing on my life. I was so shocked that Voss sat there through all that bickering Taylor made and I was doing. I said, that's a real man right there. Ye not yet leave. I want you to stay. Let me be taken. Let me be put to death. <laughs> pretty good. You just may have to work a little better on your delivery boss, but other than that, it's pretty good. You you know, know, I think right. you could probably do some you wanna try? off, off, off Broadway stuff, and you'd you be good. Try? Uh, you know what? I'll show you how it's done if you want. Don't I'm ever change, insult change my, my partner <laughs> because he helps me in ways that you've never stepped up to help. Yeah. He's a creative person. I can see that. Creativity <laughs> flows through him, <laughs> and he's a great help to out? me. Uh, I don't know if I need to, <laughs> but thanks, man. You do need to. Yeah. <laughs> you do need to. Maybe you can spot me one day. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Boss, I'll see you tomorrow, sweetie. All right. You might want to pull up your pants a little. Take care, man. Yeah. Get in the gym. Juliet. Don't call me Juliet. That's not going to inspire me. Trust me. Come here. Put that drink down. I'll put up the drinks. I'm not sure if there's love left in my relationship with Taylor Made. He totally changed. You know, he's just acting like a new individual. And the worst thing is, he has no time for me. So, so tell me about everything you've been doing. We're, We're doing a lot of things. 
Excellent. Been doing a lot. Well, hopefully not too much uh, with the boss. See, that's what you wouldn't understand about a man like that. He has respect for me, and we keep it professional. Though. Very much so. I try to sit down to an adult dinner with Taylor, and I just I don't really know why he's here, and it's bugging me. And I just feel like he's not being honest to me. You seem like you didn't want to correspond over the phone. I mean, like, that's the kind of the vibe I got the last time we were, we were talking. That's why I said, you know, I'll come out here and see him. I don't agree with you. Well, every time I, I think the him. last time we spoke, um, it was kind of like we wouldn't speak again. You have a beautiful, successful black woman on your arm that has not been in over three months, and you need to be ashamed of yourself. I'm not gonna be anybody's fool. Oh, what do you mean by that? You know, it's so good to have somebody out there for you. Black Eliza is for me. Okay. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm always here for you, but a lot of times. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that had to be the joke of the day. Well. So Taylor Man has this dinner set up for me, and you know, all of this just seems really fake to me. I don't think Taylor Maid is making a serious attempt to connect with me emotionally. I don't know where you're coming from. <laughs> you're the one who you wanted to come pursue your acting career. I totally supported you. And you came out here, and you kind of make it seem like I abandoned Okay. Now, if we want to use big words, we're going to have to. What was the big word? Support. Oh, okay. You have to define what support is because that way I can correct you. Someone who, when you're there, when you have trouble, is there for you. You know, emotionally, when you're, when you're, you know, you're down and out. That's the person you can you can look to. Down and out. Okay. Like you're in the, when you're feeling down, that's the person you can call and they'll, you know, cheer you up. You know what? Let me just. I'm just gonna. My definition of someone being a fiance is being there for that person you know, physically, emotionally, and, and just plain showing, you know, love and respect. I think this is great that you're, you're pursuing a career because I think that what's different now is you sometimes you'll say that I was tired, I would be working all day, then, then we'd meet for dinner, and you're wondering why I was tired, but it's because you would sleep till like two o'clock. Now you're working every day, you're grinding. It's gonna help our relationship because before a lot of times I think what would happen is, you know, you- A would, relationship? It will help our relationship. A relationship? Okay. A relationship? A relationship. Well, what I'm saying... What relationship? What relationship? Yes! <laughs> I want it! Oh, my God! I love you so much. I love you too. Okay? That's where I am. Okay. So... If I had a man... So I would be there for him. You're lying. You're, you're lying. lying. <laughs> Don't lie. You want to lie, lie. <laughs> Taylor Maid and I tried to sit down and have a civilized dinner, but things really didn't go that way. I don't know what we're really going to do, and I just need more time to think about all of this. This was meant to happen. You better work, though. Oh, you're so cute. What video shit you just got off of? <laughs> I wake up this morning after fighting with Taylor Maid, but also I have my showcase today, and that's the main focus right now for me. <laughs> Anyways, right. I'm gonna study back here for the okay. showcase. I've been doing really well. Um, I just rather run lines with my pillow. I'm gonna focus on my showcase and deal with Taylor Maid after my lines are more memorized. Yon light is not daylight. I know it. It is the meteor that the sun exhales to be to thee this night a torchbearer, and light thee on thy way to Mantua. Therefore, stay yet. Thou needest not to be gone. I'm still upset, but if I'm gonna perform today, I don't want there to be too much negativity in the air. Record your message after the tone. Uh, hey, how you doing, um, Taylor? It's Tiffany. You know, I realized last night we got off to a really rough start and everything, but, um, 
You know, last night was last night. I'm just calling to invite you to my showcase today, actually. You know, I worked really hard on it, and, you know, I just wanted to invite you out. I decided to invite Taylor May to my showcase. After everything that was said last night, I don't know if he'll show up. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye. That was, that was nice. really nice. That was really that nice. That was very nice. Even though things are really rocky with Taylor Maid right now, I have to admit, I really do love him, and I hope things do work out. Oh, behold, my Romeo. Let's go, Juliet. Are covered up. Hey, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. Showtime. Come on, let's go sit down. I noticed that TaylorMade is not at my acting class yet. So I'm thinking maybe he decided not to come. Hello, everybody! Hey. Everyone ready for performance day? Let's do it. Very good. Well, first, I want to say hello to our friends and family who have come today. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. Come on. Hello, come on in. Hi, how are you? Hi. I was so shocked when I saw Taylor May come through the door because I thought that he wasn't going to come, but it felt good to kind of see him come in and be there. Boss, Tiffany, you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm so freaked out. It's bad enough that I have anxiety. I feel like when I hit this stage, I'm just going to forget everything that I was meant to do. Will thou be gone? It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. Nightly she sings on yon pomegranate tree. Believe me, love, it was the nightingale. It was the lark, the herald of the morn. No nightingale. And window, let light in and let life out. Farewell. <sighs> One last kiss, now descend. When I first met you, I wasn't sure if you had the acting gene. I wasn't sure if that was something that, you, that was inside of you, that talent. And to be really real right now, I think you do have that inside of Thank you. Thank you. I think that it's Thank definitely you. there for you. Thank you. How did everybody else feel? when Scott told me that I had what it take to be a real actress. So that shows me that I made a lot of progress. Thanks, Scott, for everything. Oh, Scott, thank you. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Okay, be good. See you in Boston, get you up. I wanted to, you know, support you, you know what I mean? Well, I was thinking maybe if you wanted to have a, a bite to eat or something. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's up to you. I wouldn't no, no, want to force you or nothing no, like that. Simple. I would like I just, to. I mean, I, I, the way things were last night, I don't want to, that was, I, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't want to leave it like that. I mean. The reason why I invited Taylor May to go to dinner with me after my scene was because I just kind of wanted to give it one more shot. If Taylor May is open and honest with me during dinner, there might be a really good shot at us working out our relationship. How are you guys? Hey, good. how are you doing? Too? Good, welcome to Dolce. Thank you. Let me show you to your table. Have you been to this restaurant? No. No? Yeah. Like it? I, you know, I thought I'd been here by the name, but now that I'm in here, I don't think I've been here. How you doing? Um, I'm doing. How you doing? All right. Nice. Really Going into this dinner, I don't know what's going to be the outcome. I'm thinking I might leave with my fiance, or I might not have a fiance. So what did you do this morning? Um, 
I just prepare, like, grand lines and stuff like that. It's gonna be... <clears throat> I mean, I could say to, like... I mean, not that you want to compare yourself to other students, but without a doubt, you, you know... You were the best of everyone I saw. You were very passionate, and I mean, you were just really did a great Thank job. Thank you. I'm glad you uh, appreciated the piece. I'm going to tell you how I feel before I even eat that. It's hard for me to look at you because I resent you so much for the way you just abandoned me. I like, abandoned you. You came out can here. Can I please I finish? You? Can I please finish? You gave up on us way before I moved out here. Let's be honest about it. When we were flying back from, from Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Let me finish. I don't need input. Just let me get it out. Into a okay, I, okay, I don't need you to agree or disagree. I just oh, want you well, to relax. If I agree, I'm gonna because tell I'm you. making a point. I don't want to be interrupted. No, that's fine. If you're not gonna be adult enough no, not to say anything, no, to no, to see all that, just stop. Let me finish my thought without disrespecting me, because well, it's blatant point. disrespect what you're I'm doing, because you're not you. allowing me to finish without just listening. I'm not just give me you. your ears. I get with You're not me. giving me anything else. At least can I have your ears? Listen, you see, can you I have your it. ears? The fact that Taylor Made is not really listening to what I'm saying, and he won't let me get in a word edgewise, it just really upsets me, and it also shows me the lack of respect that he has for my feelings. Well, Taylor, you, man, let me tell you something. You changed so much once okay. you got a little hit of fame. Oh, yeah, really? It was ridiculous. You was a great boyfriend to me. I was a great boyfriend before, when I wasn't working, and then once I worked, then once I went back to work, you, you got said, discovered. You know, the real problem is you should have picked have Buddha. You should have picked the Don't guy who's unemployed no, and who would just... You. Right. Follow you around You're all the time. Right. The fact that so I'm independent and I have life. a job, pick a guy who's unemployed because that's what you I said you want. I don't need any advice from you. If Taylor Made is just gonna walk away every time we disagree, then maybe this thing is really over. Taylor Made comes slinking back in after storming off for the second time in two dinners. I don't know if he's being stubborn or just a fool. Am I allowed to speak to you? What, what I feel is you've turned me into exactly what I don't want to be, which is you feed off me being emotional. <laughs> you were not allowing me to speak, and I was thinking of the most, I was trying to, to tell you something that, you know. The reason why I didn't let you speak because I wasn't finished making my point. Well, no, actually, you, you cut me off, and then you said, let me speak. You said to me, you've never been in a relationship. But that makes no sense. Well, then, I'm tell a grown me. woman. How the hell would I say you the first man I, that I dated that had you a said job? I, you said I don't, I, you can't deal with it. You're used to someone not working. You told me that. No, I didn't say that. I, I said that. you work a lot of hours. I said I'm not used to neglect. That's what I said. There's a big difference, corporate, OK? okay. Taylor Made is being disrespectful on purpose. He knows how to push my buttons, but I'm going to show him that I'm not going to let it get to me right now. I was hoping when I had dinner with you that I was going to just feel you be real to me. What did I, I feel didn't stupid? see what any of that stupid? or feel any of that. I feel like I've been me, you haven't been you, because you're, at least I haven't lied. You've said stuff that's not even true. You, you, Turn you it around on seat. me. I don't care, but let, let me tell you the bottom you line where it rests is this dinner was meant for me to see you. You okay. never came. We're just talking in circles right now. He's not listening to me. He's not respecting me. You acted like a throughout this dinner because the, we're going to talk about the same thing we've talked about all the time, the emotional volatility, the ro you, roller coaster. The, the, we've had this conversation. The What's the point of but having a conversation thing, again? Though. Let me tell you something. I was hoping to talk to you and connect with but you. But why do you want to repeat happened. a conversation we had? Well, now I'm done. OK, have a nice day. You mean life? Life. I'm done. See? I'm done. OK, have a nice day. Oh, this is my table. You walk from here. I'm not getting up. I know that this chapter of my life is closed for good. I gave that man time and time and chance after chance to make it right with me. But he shows me that he didn't want to, so it's over. 
Next time on New York Goes to Hollywood. I'm going to give you the script. The script. We don't want New York the reality star. We want Tiffany the actress. OK. You got to tell them you're done with reality. No more reality? I cannot imagine my life without doing any reality television. Oh, my goodness. What's up? Hey, How you what's doing? up, baby? So since things with Taylor May has ended, I'm really feeling boss. Mark Cronin and Chris Abrego would like to set up a meeting. I get a call from the production company that produced all my reality shows. Hey! Yeah. Hey, what's up? Well, we brought you in because there's been some new developments. A possible opportunity. We could go back to VH1 now and say, she's single, why don't we try... I love New York 3. I love New York 3. <laughs> I love New York 3 is on the table. I also have this part that's on the table. I feel torn. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey, it's the one and only New York. You better check me out on newyork.vh1.com, where you'll find highlights of this show and get a sneak peek of what's coming for next week. All right, now. How do you make burritos? Oh, I'm gonna make that one. <laughs> oh, that might be funny. <laughs> Let's do it. I am so not good at doing anything myself. Oh my god, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> this is not good.